Hello and welcome to Tea Talk Real Talk, Conversations Over Tea. I am happy to have some wonderful guests today. We're going to be talking about um, the New Jersey Sharing Network, and we have three wonderful guests. We have Tracy, Terry, and Mark. They are all volunteers from the New Jersey Sharing Network, and we're going to be talking about um, kidneys and some other things um, in terms of people, you know, being able to share their wealth, I guess you could say, for people that need it. Right. It's a gift of life. Yes. There you go. Well said. <laughs> so Tracy is a very good friend of mine, and, you know, we're entrepreneurs, and she's a wonderful lady. Um, oh, we've met, you, you know, many years ago. And the passion that I have about, you know, the topic today is, you know, my aunt also had kidney problems, and my aunt never was able to have children, so, you know, my mother's three children were basically like her three children, but for years and years she suffered with kidney problems. She even had a transplant, and her body totally rejected, and she thought wow. she was going to die and said, I will never do this again, and she didn't. But, of course, you know, as time goes on, it was like over 15 years, maybe even 20 years of her suffering. And I just, it was such a hard thing when, I, when we ended up losing her. So when I met you and I know that you had the same thing, I was like, wow, that's a lot. And then you have your children and your single parent, and then you're trying to do a business. I was like, wow, you know, just, I thought that was awesome and, and a lot of strength to do something like that. So I really admired you. So, you know, kind of just tell us about your journey and then how you met these two wonderful people here. And so we can just know, you know, what's the importance of this um, new network that you're part of. Um, in 2007, my husband passed away in a fatal car accident. Mm. And a year after that, I found out that I had kidney cancer. Wow. And then I also had end-stage renal disease. Wow. And I was put on dialysis immediately. They removed my right kidney. Thankfully, that it was in the first stage. It was less than a centimeter. Um, the size was less than a, uh, one centimeter. And I didn't need chemo, thank God, wow. for that. Um, then for five years, I was on dialysis. I had my good days and bad days. The first two years, I was in and out of the hospital. Probably the total of the 24 months, I must have been in the hospital like 15 times, mm -hmm. either yeah. through infection, pneumonia, gallbladder issues, you name it, I had it. Mm -hmm. Then thankfully, my son, he was an exact match but we participated in the exchange program where he put, gave, he put, I always say, he put one in the pot mm -hmm. and then I got one right. in exchange. Wow. And it's funny because it was exact match. So he gave it to the wife and the husband gave wow. to me. Wow. I haven't yet and I'm praying that I can meet my kidney family soon. Oh, wow. But I thank them and my son wow. for Again, like I said, it is actually a gift of life. And I was telling Terry and Mark, uh, yesterday I was running around with my daughter who's uh, 15 years old. And we were going here, we were going there. And just, I just thought that the year prior, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Mm -hmm. And I relished e each moment, each laugh. Mm -hmm. It's... Good for you. Yep, I, I don't I, I don't know what to say. Yeah. I don't know what to say. And because of the fact that I'm so grateful, I want to share that celebration with everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm having a luncheon gala on May 4th in Whippany, New Jersey, where I will be celebrating the gift of life. Mm -hmm. It will be almost a year. I had my transplant, my kidney transplant on May 21st. Mm -hmm. um, then it's May 4th. And again, it's the celebration of life. My son doesn't know this, and I don't have to worry about him listening to the tape because he's not getting <laughs> up at 7 o'clock in the morning. But <laughs> um, I want to acknowledge him, and I'm hoping that my kidney family will be present. They might surprise me, I hope. And then also to bring the awareness of living organ donation, but not excluding organ donation in general, because right. regardless if it's living mm -hmm. or deceased, it's still a gift of life. Right. Absolutely. Right. Totally. So I, um, beautiful story. I, I, can't, I can't say enough. Wow. Yeah. I mean, oh, and then for the, um, <laughs> I forgot, um, the New Jersey Sharing Network, um, it's funny because I didn't even think about being a volunteer until I read Terry and Mark's um, bio. And they were certified with Donate Alive. They were uh, certified with, I think, the Heart Association. Yes. And then the Sharing Network, and I'm reading it. 
And I'm like, I want one. I want to do that, too. <laughs> and then I called Leonard. Well, I emailed him, and then he told me, you know what? Great timing because they had their sec uh, second, second conference, conference volunteer conference, conference where I was required to take, um, like, two breakout sessions just to get certified. So I say I'm unofficially the trained volunteer because I have to wait for the background check, but right. I'm Absolutely. clean. Yeah. I'm, nothing's sure. wrong. Wow. Um, <laughs> um, and then I could go out and share my story, and I'm right. hoping that I will be able to move someone. And, and like they kept on repeatedly say during the whole conference, it's not that we're they're trying to push people to donate, mm -hmm. regardless live or deceased, mm -hmm. but just give them the knowledge because a lot of people don't know. Right. A lot of people think right. that all you have to do is check off your license. Mm -hmm. Does the, the um, person, their wishes, are they going, does the loved one know what right. their wishes are? Right. You know what I mean? Right. So that, that that's another thing that I want to share right. with people. And it's, and it's a good conversation to have with your family. A lot right. of us right. don't. Well, a lot of us right. don't even plan for our death, which we are at some point. You know, sometimes it's sudden, sometimes it's not. But that's really a serious thing that we need to really talk about and see. Maybe someone does want to give, but nobody has ever spoken about it. Right. And they've never, you know, thought to put it down on paper. Right. So, you know. Yeah, so let us know your story in terms of how you, um, you know, got to be in the New Jersey Sharing Network and, you know, what it is that you... Well, I start with the fact that um, I usually start art speaking together and we get in front of nurses, we get in front of children in school who are going to sign their license and basically uh, we look at the audience and say, hey, we are Terry and Mark Mead, one of us had a heart transplant wow. and I bet you can't tell which one. Wow. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and it was me. Okay in June 4th of 2008. Wow. I got very lucky. And Terry is my caregiver and my wife will be married 49 years oh in May. God. And we have Ooh, been... That's <laughs> and we're still boyfriend and girlfriend. There you go. <laughs> that's why really we've been married for 49 years. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And um, the story is, like you said, we're very lucky. I had my first heart attack in 1987 when I was 43 years old. Mm, wow. I had a minor heart attack after that and in 2005 Terry and I were out in California on a business trip mm -hmm. and the first day there I suffered a heart attack. Wow. The big one. The big wow. one. Wow. Oh my God. And at one point uh, I wound up in a, an induced coma. So Terry has to tell you about the next six days and then we'll bring you out up to date from that. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, we're 3,000 miles away from home. Mm -hmm. I'm alone and he's dying. Mm -hmm. And they rushed him to a heart facility outside of San Francisco because the community hospital we were in was not prepared right, to deal with, right. with it. Oh my God. What we didn't know is in the transport, which we were following behind, uh, he had a cardiac arrest oh in, the, in the rig and they kept him alive just to get him into that building. Right. Uh, they performed uh, emergency bypass and at that point, they told me it's 50-50 wow. if he's going to come out of it. It was six days of total right. agony. And mm -hmm. um, there was a guest house on the grounds of this hospital. Mm -hmm. And they let me stay there. And every morning, I would go up before the, the shift change just to check and mm -hmm. see what was going on. Wow. And I had been there, came back down to have some breakfast, and the phone rang in my room, which was a direct phone to the CCU. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they said, we think you might want to come back up. And I said, is everything OK? <gasps> yeah, 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 but you need okay. to come back up. So I yeah. trudged up the hill <laughs> and walked into the room. His eyes were open. Oh. They had extubated him. Wow. And he looked at me <gasps> and he said, I don't know who you are, oh but I God. think I love you. Oh, <laughs> that is so sweet. It happened to be on her birthday. And it was my birthday. <laughs> oh, my God. That, so that's such sweet. a gift. That must be the best and me most memorable gift in your entire life. Right. right. Wow. So it, it just it went on for about six weeks because right. they, we couldn't fly home right. until wow. he was you know, stable enough. And they right. worry about blood clots and wow. airplanes. 
And that must be so difficult being away from home for so long in a strange place. And it's like without question. But I'm going to tell you, just as an aside, people are unbelievably great. They took care of Terry. Mm. They took care of me. It was as if we were part of their family. Wow. Nice. And, and the fact that we were that far away, right. they okay. looked out for us. That's right. wonderful. And, mm -hmm. and we can't say enough about right. Uh, right. the people at Sequoia Hospital right. um, in Very Redwood nice. City. So we, we did ultimately get home. Mm -hmm. And from that point on, it was downhill. Mm -hmm. Even though he had new arteries, right. uh, his, the heart is a muscle, and mm -hmm. the pumping mechanism was right. basically shot. Oh. So it was a pacemaker, defibrillator, it was ambulance rides mm -hmm. in the middle of the night to Princeton Hospital. Oh, um, and in 2008, during the Super Bowl, oh, <laughs> he was at Robert Wood Johnson in New Brunswick, and his beloved uh, Giants. He's been a season ticket holder for 49 years. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> They're in the Super Bowl and they won, but the next day we had to make the decision to get him to a facility right. where we could get him a transplant because wow. that was all that was left. Yeah. He was wow. in end stage congestive heart failure. Wow. Wow. Amazing, right? That's yes. why there's a smile you, on my face. I, <laughs> know. I know. Really. I know. It's, it's so, know. And we all take every little thing for granted. Absolutely. Our, our sight, our hearing, our taste, all those things are important. You know, right. your heart, all these things are so important. And right. we just take it for granted. And yeah. just some of us, we don't do what we're supposed to do. We do things that are excessively wrong for ourselves. Totally. Totally. And not, you know, so this is wonderful. And it really kind of slaps me in my face, too, because I'm not always doing the right things either for my body to be healthy. Well, the truth is nobody really expects any of this to happen, right. and we didn't know anything about it until it did hit us right. in the face. Mm -hmm. right. And then we were lucky enough to have doctors here in New Jersey right. who said, we've gone as far as we can go. Oh. You need to see a specialist right. and recommended us to a doctor in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And um, we were in and out of Philadelphia for about a year okay. until one visit they said, you can't go home anymore. Wow. And we lived in the hospital, in Hahnemann Hospital for four wow. months. On wow. machines, on keeping machines. him alive. And I was not allowed out of bed. Mm. And we waited, and we waited. And we were, at one point the surgeon came in and said, we're not gonna let you wait anymore because your other organs are okay. We can't take a chance that they're gonna fail. Right. So you're gonna get an LVAD, which is a left ventricular assist device, a pump okay. that they call a bridge to transplant. Mm -hmm. Six hours before we were scheduled for the surgery, and I say we because we went through right. it together. Yes. Six hours before, they found a heart. They came in and said, we were offered a what heart. What a blessing oh that God. was. Is that amazing? Yeah, amazing. Oh my God. I mean, just we're amazing. still, you know, I'm shaking now it as is. we talk like about you, it. You, you don't think, you know, just like you don't think that this could happen to you in a bad way, you can't, you know, right. you can't even imagine that such a blessing can come to you like six hours before you're ready but, for surgery. But uh, other, oh other uh, transplant recipients had shared with us oh that God. when they opened their eyes after surgery, they knew immediately that they felt better. Mm -hmm. And that was a lot of pressure. Right. But when I approached the surgical ICU after the surgery was over, and I looked across at the bed, mm -hmm. he was pink. He had not been pink. Okay. He was warm. <laughs> he had not been warm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and he relays the story that okay. he knew the moment he opened his wow. eyes that he, would, he was... Yeah. Better. Wonderful. And it's Wonderful. amazing. There was not a painkiller. I had no pain. Right. I guess they went in the same incision that they yes, did for the right. same okay. <laughs> <laughs> So we're able to make jokes. We like to talk about it. We do everything we can to pay it forward right. as the word right. goes. Right. It's important. People did it for us. They came to our room. As soon as they found out we were listed for a transplant, one after the other. A woman came from her room and said three days ago or two days ago, I had mine, and I looked up and go, wow. you had heart transplant wow. two days ago? Yeah. Wow. So that gives you... The next day, oh, I was sitting up eating mm -hmm. a turkey sandwich. The next day. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah, you can't. Yeah. So it's very it. important that people are aware of organ donation yes. and what yeah. it can do. Exactly. There are, uh, statistically, there are 18 people a day that die waiting for an mm -hmm. organ. There are 120,000 people in this country, right, right give now. or take, that, right that are now, waiting, waiting for wow. an organ. They only do 2,000 heart transplants a year in this country. Oh, that's not, somehow well, I got that, one. That's not a lot compared no. to the not amount of people in the world. And what's right. the 1%? The 1% is in New Jersey, only 1% of people that pass away 
or they donate, can be, donate can, right. okay. can be can, considered for it. Right. Can, really? Right. Yeah. We're 42nd wow. in the states as far as 40. organ donation listing. Wow. People saying they signed their license. Right. We have but, a lot of work to do. Yeah. 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 But even with that, there's only that 1%, right. and I'm not sure if that's the exact number. Right. I don't want to give wrong numbers. That are eligible to donate to ultimately because right, there's certain things that you know, makes you that, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. yeah, It's a lot about education, right? Mm -hmm. It is. And through the uh, New Jersey Sharing mm -hmm. Network, we have been certified okay. as uh, volunteers, like as Tracy. as Tracy has recently done, and we reach out and share our story okay. to raise awareness. Okay and provide this education okay. to people to dispel the myths right. about it exactly. for them to see right yeah you know, the pudding, uh, right right <laughs> the best is speaking with nurses right you know most of the people that are in these facilities hospitals mm -hmm. etc they don't really come in contact with transplant right they come in contact knowing there was a death in the hospital okay. and they report it to new jersey okay. sharing network right but now New Jersey Sharing Network sends us out to these hospitals to talk to nurses okay. Okay. who get to see the end result. Right. Right. And we can't praise them enough for what right. they've done, as right. you, you right. know. Yeah, that, was gonna be my that was gonna be my question, was how do you get out there, you know, is that on your own or is it through the network? No, it's, it's They find the, the places and, yes. and okay, through, the network. through the network, they send uh, emails okay. to certified volunteers. Right. And we also have a Donate Life Mercer group okay, nice. that we're part of. Okay to do local Princeton Hospital. Right. We do frequently, um, we're part of the High School Heroes right. Program. Okay, nice. We go out and speak to the right. sophomores who right. are taking driver's ed. Okay, nice. <laughs> it's very important it to catch yeah. them. Everyone needs to know because you know what, at, at that age, if a parent knows that their child, if just, you know, you don't want to ever think that, right. but God forbid anything happens to their child, that child was educated enough to say, you know what, I think I want to do this. Right. And then the parent can respect it or not. And those right. those so are some of our best uh, talks oh, yes. with, with the, mm -hmm. the, the children. children. Of course. Because we're, we're grandparents. Yes. We have three grandsons yes. who are approaching that age uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> soon. And they actually went through the whole transpl transplant process with us right. and gained a lot of uh, knowledge about it. and. They take grandpa to school for oh. show and tell. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> when they're studying health. Right. We just uh, completed uh, the Gift of Life Donor Dash this weekend okay. with what our team. It's, it's a walk mm. uh, in Philadelphia at the Art Museum. Okay. Right. And it's again raising funds raising and awareness. Funds. Okay. And on uh, June 8th, up in New Providence mm -hmm. at. Um, the New Jersey Sharing Network facility. Okay. We will be having our 5K okay. walk and run. Nice. And if anybody wants more information, yes. just go to NewJerseySharingNetwork.org okay. and sign up and come walk with right. us. It's a fabulous, yeah, inspirational, yes. but yet it's a fun day. It is. And then, you know, this is so really, it's really critical. People don't realize that dead or alive, you can save someone's life. Right. Don't take your organs <laughs> to <laughs> heaven. Heaven knows we need them right. here. Right. Oh, I like that. I, now, I is like that, that your that. saying? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's on a magnet. Oh, is it? Okay, but that's wonderful. <laughs> Isn't that great? It's a wonderful, yes. Great One of the um, women who came up to do the um, stone dedication stone. Oh. during the, um, the conference, they asked anybody who wants to dedicate or say anything about their donor mm -hmm. or you know recipient, mm -hmm. the family. And this one woman, she said that her son at 17 told her that he wanted to be a donor. Okay. I don't know if he did the Hero, New Jersey Hero Act or, um, but at 19, and it's really ironic because he was going to his friend's funeral. Yes. And unfortunately, he oh, got in a car crash. He was crash killed. And he, killed. he was killed. Oh, my God. And, but she said that she knew what he wanted. Right. Because some people, when they're at that particular point, they don't know what the wishes are. Right. right. That's why I so it's important. So she knew and she felt relieved. Mm -hmm that she did what her son wanted, right. and it was just less anxiety mm -hmm. that she had to deal with right. during Absolutely. that time. Right. Right. The, in, they've so taught us in the High School Heroes program, mm -hmm. when we tell them our story, we make sure to let them know, let your family know your wishes. Right. Don't yes. not talk to your family right. about it. Right. And young people grasp things a lot quicker than right. some of us that right. are a little older right. now. And I'm sure that with you guys going out to the schools, 
the children are probably going to go and talk to their parents about it. Well, we would hope so. We hope so. We hope, hope, so. You know? hope, so. Yeah. hope so. But it's very powerful. It is. After spending a whole day, like the last time we did it, we had five classes, 40 minutes yeah. each. We reached 200 students oh, wow. in, in that day who shared some stories back with us. And to see them at the end of the day all proudly wearing their green bracelets, nice. which starts conversations among yes. their other friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, now, it, can those be purchased online? Uh, or that's just part of the program? I don't yeah. know about purchase. Oh. But no, I think I that they, they, they di distribute they, them they, at, okay. at when we do tabling events okay. and right. wherever we are, we all usually have green bracelets right. to okay. give out. Yeah, because yeah, they... Um, a great donation. When I um, notified them about obtaining a speaker at the event and they gave me brochures they gave me hats yes. they gave me bracelets they okay. gave me pens right so i think that probably actually <laughs> lenard just handed me some bags of small donate life pins okay. and i'll share with yes. your audience yes, something please. that's very exciting mm -hmm. yes. and related to this whole thing i have been asked uh, to become a contestant in the Miss Senior New Jersey America oh pageant my God. this year. Well, you can see why. Uh, She's gorgeous. She <laughs> <why>. is. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's, I'm honored exciting. to have been selected to do wow. this, and um, they, they only choose 12 in the whole state. Wow. But the reason I'm doing it is to have a much larger arena mm -hmm. to, to share this it. story yes. and get it get the word out right. there and I'm very excited about yes. it and the New Jersey Sharing Network is behind me in this nice. effort and uh, I'll do them proud. Yes, 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 yes you, will, you will. You will. You're beautiful and you know the experience you know really helps you as well. Yeah. yeah that's so that's great? the reason I chose yeah. to do this. So nice. I'll throw one more out at you. Mm -hmm. The irony of life. Mm -hmm. In 1966, 1967 we lived in Brooklyn. I lived you in Brooklyn. Where in Brooklyn? I used to live in, in Borough Park. Park. Borough Park. Okay. okay. Terry yeah. worked at Maimonides Hospital. Mm -hmm. She worked for the doctor who did the first heart transplant in this country wow. after Dr. Barnard did his in South Africa. And here she is 40 years later at the side of my bed saying, I typed the paperwork for all of these wow. machines. <laughs> <laughs> he invented the heart lung right. machine, wow. the LVAD, the aortic balloon pump, wow. all, all of that. Wow. And I was there during Couldn't that time. Imagine. But you file it away, yes. and you move on with life. Right. And then they come into his room and they say, well, he needs to have the aortic balloon <laughs> pump. And I went, oh. I know that. <laughs> right. It's the first time <laughs> in 40 something. years I heard that word, yeah. you know, those words. Wow. So we feel very good doing what we're doing. Right. Even today, this is great. Yes. We're thrilled this that you invited us yes, to do this. Definitely. It's very important that we bring the message, as yes. Tracy knows, yes. so that other people will think about donating their organs. Right. And Otherwise tissues. I'm not here. And right. tissues. Yes, yeah, and tissues. Yes, yes. yes. that's yes. very important. Yeah, because I was part of the Junior League, and we one of our issues that we were um, trying to work on is um, the blood bank, mm -hmm. so that, you know, uh, mothers can give the umbilical cord, cord blood. Mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. that's also something that people can do, because right. it, it helps in research, oh, sure. you know, to mm -hmm. just make everyone better. Sure. So, yeah, all these things are not really talking about as much as it should be. So, you know, and you know, people think, I'm too old in. to donate. Never, you never, yeah, no, you're no, never no, too no. old. They, you have people that are young, like my aunt, it was actually like a young person, I think, I don't know the exact age, but I know the person was probably under 16. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, you know, I don't know. And then my aunt yeah. at that time, I'm trying to remember how old she was. At that time, I was 45 or something. I, I can't remember exactly. So I don't know if the age matters or not, mm -hmm. but, you know, I, at least she tried. You know? yeah. we, don't know so. we don't know anything about our donor. Right. Right. Um, we do write anonymously mm -hmm. through the Gift of Life donor okay. program because they were the ones that did because we were in Philadelphia, right. they did the, the matching. Right. Uh, and we write these extraordinary pieces of mm -hmm. literature. Right. Okay. Uh, and send cards, right. you know. That's wonderful. But we've heard nothing back. Mm -hmm. It's probably yeah. difficult. We understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. It is. Yeah. But it would be nice. Right, I know it is nice because blanks. something like that actually has saved your life. You want to reach out to that right. person and, and, yeah. and say thank you. Right. So they, I mean, I'm sure they know that you appreciate it, yeah. but it's nothing like saying to them, wow, you know, thank you. Well, yeah. New right. Jersey Sharing Network's walk has, uh, when we were there last year, um, they have a section for donor families, donors and donor families. And Terry and I walk around because we don't know our donor, and we adopt every donor oh. family. Yes. And they, <laughs> they adopt, adopt us. us. It, nice. was, it was just the most 
amazing wow. experience that day. Wow. It touched us so to be with all of these donor right. families. You know, it's very easy to be the recipient. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right. Exactly. Yeah, right. Why right. not? Of course. Who's going to say no? You, you know? know, but I can't imagine a donor family yeah. what they They're go the heroes. Yeah. Yeah. They are truly, the heroes. Yeah. Truly, they yeah. are. They definitely are. Now, when did you say was that you said there were two events coming up? I'm going to see. I mean, I'm, I'm always going to a lot of events. And matter of fact, I'm part of another organization doing a walk in May. But when were the other two um, functions? Well, your event is May. It's May, May, May 4th. May 4th. May 4th. And, May 4th. and, and the, the walk is June 8th. June 8th. Is that a okay. Saturday or Sunday? It's a it's, Saturday? Mm, good question. I don't, okay, I don't remember. Well, okay, I, I think I it's just Sunday. Okay. Well, well, the we'll pageant is June 5th. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a Thursday. Sunday. Sunday. Okay. okay. Sunday. Great, yeah. Yeah. So it, it draws an enormous amount of of traffic and people, so that that's why they do right. it on a well, Sunday. I'll update. advertise it on my social media. Oh, like I like to always anything that's going to help and benefit others. Mm -hmm. I'm always for it, pushing it out. Terry uses her Facebook accounts. Yes. For so that. Right. Yes. Yes. To, All to my social let media. Let the world know. That's yes. what I do. Yeah. I, we, I started we doing that as other well. people yes. who are in the same situation yeah. that that we were. Right. You know, back. Although, well, it'll be six years on June 4th, uh, we had no support other than our, our immediate family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There were very few people in that world with us to share, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to communicate with somebody who had been there. Right. Right. So I'm trying to make up for that right, now and I being know. there for those yeah. who need the support yeah. now, sharing, you know, what, what we experienced. Right. Right. And, and to give you. them hope, hope. Right. as well. Right. You understand. You know? Definitely. Not saying that you don't. Yes. Right. Luckily, no, you no, haven't yes. been in this situation. Right. right. I haven't, but like I said, my aunt has, and that's yes. like yes. living it because I, you know, on the weekends, every weekend coming from here, she was in Mount, Mount Vernon, and so my daughter and I, like the last six months, every weekend we're out there mm -hmm. to help her because she's been stuck in the hospital and she didn't have children, you know. So mm -hmm. it's like right. to see her like that, it was just. You know, and then she was unconscious the last time before she passed away the next wow. day. And I was just like, wow. this is like my second mother. You know, it's my mom's mm -hmm. sister. And mm -hmm. it was just heart-wrenching. You know, she couldn't have the kids. And then she had this, you know, this disease. And it was just like heart-wrenching. So that's why Tracy, mm -hmm. you know, my good friend here, mm -hmm. I just, I admired her so much. You know, the, the strength and all that that she had to, yeah. to do it's not a walk. Does. A transplant is not a walk in the park. Yeah. Yeah. You know, no, we're, they're here, they look beautiful yes. and healthy. Yeah. But, they, you know, there's a lot that goes yes. along with it. The, yeah. the medications. Yes. Post transplant, mm -hmm. you know, he You're takes gaining like 30, 40 pounds. Right. <laughs> well, that, that, but, but that's when they take you off right, the word. Yeah. 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 You know, he takes seventeen different medications yes. a day, yes. plus four shots of insulin. Wow. You know, he's wow. insulin dependent, diabetic. You know, they're nobody knows behind the scenes. Exactly. Right? Of course not. We all have a story. Yeah. You, know. you know, they told yeah. us what you're doing is you're trading one big problem yeah. for lots, lots, little lots little of little ones. Right. ones. And right. if you can call cancer a little one. Right. Yeah. You know, he's, had, he's had three cancers <laughs> wow. since the transplant. Oh wow. But we deal with things. Yeah, you know, yeah. a tran heart transplant didn't bring us down and neither will cancer. Right. Nothing. That's right. No, That's we, right. You know, faith, come on, bring, courage, bring it. We can deal. To, yeah. We'll yeah. deal. Yeah. So yeah. as long as we're having a conversation, again, the only thing we can say, and I'm sure Tracy feels the same mm -hmm. way, is the people behind the scenes, the doctors, the nurses, the orderlies, anybody that was in the that hospital, the, tra right. the, the transplant coordinators, the transport people, right. they all have an unbelievable ability yes. to understand the situation you're going through right. and make it as comfortable for you as they can. Exactly. I can't praise any of them more than I, right. I don't know how much to right. praise them. Right. And I want them all to know that. Yes. And we do tell that as soon as we're in a hospital, we let them know. You know, we're, we're, Recently, we spoke at Prince, uh, Princeton Hospital okay. to the, all the nurse managers. Mm -hmm. Now, that being our home, mm -hmm. our home hospital, they saved his life okay. many, many times. <laughs> many. And when we completed that, that talk and we went to visit the uh, cardiac rehab mm -hmm. and CCU, and they looked at us and they go, we remember you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't think he was going to survive, yeah. and wow. here we are. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them don't remember me because I'm right. yeah. like that. And, and right. no color. Yeah. You know, as long as I'm stashed, <laughs> lying down, they remember me, right, yeah. and pale. Yeah. So, so it, it feels good, right. you know, to get that reaction. Okay. Like, you helped. Wonderful. I mean, you, yeah. because right. of yeah. what you did. Right. 
Here he is. And I'm sorry that, you know, time has flown by. Oh, I can't believe it it's like, you know, almost <laughs> 30 minutes already. So we're going to wrap it up. So, you know, I just want everyone to know that the New Jersey Sharing Network, please go and check it out online and donate, you know, or have that conversation with your families about, you know, giving a gift to someone's life, whether they're dead or alive. So, again, thank you so much, and stay tuned for Tea Talk, Real Talk. It was a blessing having these wonderful folks here, and I thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very, you very much. much. Thank you.